So ever since working out here, we've been noticing that the vegetation's been pretty dull and there's not that much wildlife around. And ever since that, having a project run out here through bee meat, we've got some water into the existing creeks. So caring for our country, I thought that um, if we introduce some water into the existing creeks, that once filled Fletcher's Lake would might might re-emerge the life for the the trees, the vegetation, and may bring a lot of wildlife back. And I think that because of the creek being dry for nearly 40 years, why not try it? So we've been putting out a few monitoring points where there's where we actually thought there would be a lot of salt impact areas. So we've did a further monitoring on those spots and actually proving that we can get water back so there won't be enough salt salt and salinity issues. And ever since of um, doing so of out here monitoring and caring for the country we've just took notice that a lot of the wildlife's come back. We've seen all the vegetation come green again and yeah we've actually just made the country come back to life. So now when I walk along the creek now, I run into emu nests, so I can see a lot of tracks that's around. I actually see a lot of bird life happen. And ever since that we've had our presence out here work and we've just watched nature take its place again. We've actually got the opportunity of watching them chicks grow up now and walk across the country and just by having that water come back it's just that we get to see these things again. They're here now. They wasn't here before. But we always notice that we are at wildlife all the time and just just that's why having water back here is just that they don't have to nest very far away from the water. They love to live along the creek. So I think that um this is the best opportunity for them to raise their chicks. By getting the water back in the creek is just gonna attract more people to the community to enjoy it. So what I mean by that is that we can have our families out here again, our friends, especially the elders that's actually seen the water back in their days, they can actually come back and enjoy it again. Now that we've got the water, now we can do get back to our ways of fishing. We can go yabbing now, we can go swimming, we could probably camp. We could do lots, lots more great things. It's been great seeing a lot of people come out here, especially the people of the community. Now that they've got something to hand back to their families and younger generation to share. I think that they can nurture it now and have a belonging to the place. Now we can really enjoy the country. We've developed an interpretive walkway where we could share, share our works with the schools. We can actually show them the cultural side about it and the environmental side about it. We see this big capacity build that these kids will be seeing the, how we got the water here and the troubles that we went through so that they, they're not going to have those troubles by the time they grow up. I think that they're going to take it on as an opportunity to come out and care for country too. So when we bring out the kids out on the creek we like to show them a lot of how we got the water in through the environmental side by monitoring the tree health and the vegetation and also like the history of the creek too, of the cultural significance. Where we will walk along, we'll show a, a scar tree, some fireplaces and really educate the, the kids why the surroundings are here. And just having these kids out here with us is just gonna really open their eyes that, that they have a culture that they can grab hold of, and they can cherish, and they can really find it again.